And he will say, we have a case and uh, we can win the case, right? The woman is found with a child and you are not responsible. We got a case. Some money, right? Yeah. Sorry, I, I love attorneys. <laughs> I did a lot of immigration through, you know, about just 16 years of immigration, you know. <laughs> it is hard, very hard for any family, for any person. The difficulties in our life, that is very normal. We all, one way or other, go through tough times. Joseph and Mary, chosen ones, by God. They are not just uh, any people. Mary, blessed Mary, full of grace, no sin. Joseph, righteous. Together, they had to face the toughest, most difficult, and I think excruciating pain, mental pain, spiritual. That night, I could not even imagine Joseph, what he went through. And Mary also, how come, how come it's possible? Never happened in the history. Never happened in the history. How come it's possible? And uh, when we don't have God, when we have no relationship with God, when we try to solve the problems, we cannot even imagine. We don't even know how this happens. We try to reason through our own intellect, placing, depending on us, depending on our information, depending on our wisdom, our knowledge, trying to solve it. Sometimes we, we get it. Sometimes we mess up too much. And sometimes it is hard to go through it. And so, so what happens here is like when we have, when we depend on God, when we see God is doing the job, that changes everything. Because we have a new way of looking at the issue. We have a new way of understanding it. So that is why when, when, when we see in the, in the life of Joseph and Mary, and their relationship with God changed everything. They believed the intervention of God. It is not just them. We have tons of people in the Bible. That is why the Bible is written. The failures of the people, the success stories of the people, it is in the Bible. I can tell one of my favorite part of a, a, a story. I can tell that example. I love that example in the Bible. That is in the book of Daniel. Book of Daniel, the king Nebuchadnezzar. So he made this golden god, a, a golden god, his own image. He asked all the people, this is going to be your god hereafter. He asked, when you hear the sound of pipe and uh, you know, the sound of trumpet, all the people have to come down, come here and bow. This is this beautiful golden god. You have to bow before him. And everyone did it when they heard the sound of trumpet. Except three guys. Shedre, Beshach, and Abednego. They said, no, we are not going to do it. There is only one God, and we know that God, and we will bow only before that God. Well, the report came to the, Nebuch the king Nebuchadnezzar. He told them, you, do you guys know what is going to happen if you don't do it? I have a big cistern. Furnace, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to kill you, torture you and kill you. I like their answer. Chapter 3 of the book of Daniel, chapters 3, verse 16, 17, and 18. You just read it. I like their example. They said, we know our God is capable of saving us. We know that. Even if he is not saving us, even if, he is not saving us. We are not going to bow down before you. Well, they were thrown into the cistern. And they walked through 
they walk through when the three of them thrown into the cistern and uh, the king looked at them he saw a fourth one is walking with them angel of the lord walking with them the thing is like uh, you know we are very familiar with uh, i am when i came from from india to here in india if you call an ambulance ambulance will come sometimes not now it changed when i was growing up when you call an ambulance ambulance will come like uh, after 3 hours 5 hours you know that is what happens sometimes in the villages here you know when you call an ambulance right ambulance come in 3 minutes or 4 minutes right uh, we sub- we think like god works like that calling an ambulance god i am in trouble the ambulance come like a tuk 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 like air lifting right then pick you up from here and uh, put to you in the safe place that is what we expect god to do right this is what our expectation of god god supposed to be like an ambulance guy you know you know you know helicopter ambulance you know comes like tuk 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 taking fall thomas from here and put to you here good job god keep it again okay <laughs> keep good work god doesn't do that god will walk you through that furnace god will walk you through that tough times so which means like uh, like joseph and mary he, god did not just pick them up from there and put them here he did not instead he walked with them he walked with them they went through the most difficult times in their life even you see them running for life to egypt as a young parent they went through all kinds of difficulties you and i we all go through god let them happen we see a god like uh, that three young men in the cistern uh, the angel of the lord walking with them no worries like uh, when we walk through it when you look back oh my goodness i made it that was tough at the beginning it looks very tough in the beginning i thought i am going to fail i am going to dead but i made it when i go through it it is too much but when i make it when i look back oh my goodness i am stronger now i am stronger i was weak before the before this this particular situation now i went through it i am stronger i am very strong this is what happens in our life so the bottom line is if i have a relationship with god everything will be awesome that is what today we celebrate emmanuel who is jesus jesus is emmanuel jesus is god with us jesus is one who holds our hands walk with you with us in our good times and in bad times he and us we have a relationship that relationship is built every day that is why we are here every sunday every weekend every day we pray for what he does need our prayers he does not need our prayers he is loving he is love what he need us when i pray and pray when i read scriptures what happens i elevate myself so that i can see the will of god i can build an awesome relationship with god that relationship will help me to face any situation any given situations in my life that is why the scripture says matthew 6:33 first to seek the kingdom of god and its righteousness then everything you need you will get it again st paul in his letter to the romans chapter 14 verse 17 the kingdom of god is not just eating and drinking kingdom of god is joy righteousness love which means when my god when i have a relationship with god i what i experience is real joy real love real peace so that is what christmas all about we are celebrating next weekend we are celebrating christmas this awesome encounter it happened in the history 2000 years ago in the history god became man and the same way we are going to experience 
the second coming of Jesus in the future. And also, we experience the same thing every day, encountering with God. And uh, we are celebrating in a special way next weekend, Christmas, in a powerful way. We remember the history. We also remember my relationship with God. So he walks with me. Even if I am in the cistern, fiery cistern, even if I am going through the most excruciating pain in my life, Emmanuel, he is with me. He is with us. But I have to, my relationship with God, that is what matters. When I, my relationship with my God helps me to have that real awesome peace, joy, experience the love so that I can have a, a beautiful 2020 vision of the problems I go through. And I can have the wisdom I need to find a solution, the knowledge I need, so that I can make a better decision and understand God's will. I hope you are not sleeping. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.